With the 23rd pick in the 2000 NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select Deshaun Stevenson from Washington Union High School in California. So for the second time tonight, a high schooler is chosen, this time Kenny Deshaun Stevenson. Deshaun, overall, you know, most of the high school guys that come in aren't physically ready. He is physically ready to, in terms of his body. He has great athleticism. He's a streaky shooter, but his athleticism outweighs it. I think that he's going to be an NBA starting two guard for a long time in the NBA. That great lift on his shot. I'll tell you what he does. Most high school kids dominate with a body like that because of physical attributes or because of athletic ability. He has skills as well. His skills are very good. He's got a nice left hand for a high school kid. Quite frankly, he goes left as, almost as well as he does right to a score. He's a guy who has a nice feel for the game too. His sense of passing the ball and he has a good efficiency to his game. He does as we all know as NBA fans, don't ever compare any basketball player to Michael Jordan. We saw what happened to a dude named Harold Miner who was nicknamed Baby Jordan and he never reached the standard that he was expected to reach only playing 3 years in the NBA. But in this video we're going to be discussing someone else and his name is Deshaun Watson. Stay tuned to hear more. So if you enjoy this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for further uploads with that being said let's get right into the video when deshaun was growing up he had it tough real tough he was born in fresno california his father daryl stevenson never married his mom janice pops and eventually was placed in a facility after threatening family members and diagnosed as a schizophrenic. Daryl signed a court order agreeing he had a duty to support his son, but eventually murdered his own mother by strangling her, and he died of cancer at the age of 36 in prison. Deshaun's name was tattooed on his chest. Because his father was gone, Deshaun lived with his godparents in Eastern California. He played high school at the same school where his father had played and won a state championship his junior year. Deshaun signed with the Kansas Jayhawks in the fall of his senior year. Jayhawks had coach Roy Williams called him his quote unquote most gifted recruit ever. <laughs> As a senior, Stevenson averaged 30.4 points, 9.7 rebounds, and 6.2 assists a game. He was named to the McDonald's All-American team and scored 25 points to lead the West to a 146 to 120 win and won the slam dunk contest. Deshaun's mother told him not to go straight to the NBA, but I guess there were some malfunctions with his SAT test and he just said fuck it and decided to enter the league straight out of high school which kind of messed up his stock because maybe if he went to college he could have developed and actually been way better than he actually was in the league deshaun coming out of high school as you can see in the title was compared to michael jordan his strengths were described as special player extremely gifted athlete great ball handler a very advanced shooter and scorer for his age a showstopper can play the one or the two won the mcdonald's high school dunk contest super character whatever the hell that means as nba ready as any high school player in his class with these efforts deshaun was the 23rd pick of the 2000 draft by the utah jazz and as we all know the 2000 draft is one of the worst drafts in all of NBA history. Couldn't even find any highlights of when he was in Utah, so this will have to do. So, Deshaun appeared in 222 regular season games during his time with the Jazz. He averaged 5.9 points per game, 1.9 rebounds, and 1.2 assists in 16 minutes per game. Stevenson played in five 
career playoff outings. At the age of 19, he became the youngest player to ever play and start for the Jazz during the 2000 to 2001 season. In 2001, he finished second in the NBA Slam Dunk Contest. Unfortunately, later that year, he pleaded no contest to having sex with a 14-year-old girl. Just what a scumbag. What a scumbag. What a scumbag. On February 19, 2004, he, he and a future second round draft pick were acquired by the Orlando Magic from the Jazz for guard slash forward Gordon Jurisic. Jurisic. Obviously, by that name, he didn't do shit. Stevenson played with the Orlando Magic for two and a half seasons. He had his best year during the 2005 to 06 season when he averaged 11 points per game, 2.9 rebounds, and 2 assists. Stevenson opted out of his third and final year of his contract with Orlando, and on August 5, 2006, he signed a two year minimum deal with the Washington Wizards. His first season there, he averaged 11.2 points per game, 2.7 rebounds, and 2.7 assists. Honestly, just interrupt me. Honestly, this wouldn't be bad, but if he, he was compared to Michael Jordan, bruh. Michael Jordan? This is a Michael Jordan. <clears throat> on July 16, 2007, Stevenson re signed with the Wizards on a four year, $15 million deal. On February 25th, 2008, Deshaun scored a career high 33 points, including a game winning buzzer beater against the New Orleans Hornets. The Wizards coach at the time, Eddie Johns, I said Eddie Johnson, Eddie Jordan described Stevenson by saying, He's a warrior, man, a true warrior. His confidence is growing, he's making threes, he's just a true pro. This is a man's league and he is a man. In the dictionary next to that word, there is a picture of Deshaun Stevenson. Bro, y'all, yeah, you, just, you just swallowing this man right now. February 13, 2010, Deshaun was traded to the Dallas Mavericks, Mavericks with Karan Butler and Brandon Haywood for Josh Howard, Drew Gooden, James Singleton, and Quentin Ross. Stevenson became the first player in NBA history to wear the number 92 on his jersey. He apparently chose 92 because he won number 9 in Orlando and number 2 with Utah and Washington. So he used his player option and made 4.15 <laughs> 4 million during the 2010-11 NBA season. They won the finals, obviously, defeating the Miami Heat in Game 6 of the NBA Finals. In that game, Stevenson made 3 of 5 3-point shots, scoring 9 points. Bra fucking vote. After this, he kind of bounced around the league. He ended up in Atlanta. Then at, he was traded. He was part of the Atlanta deal to the Nets to bring in, so the Brooklyn Nets could bring in Joe Johnson. And in 2016, he officially, formally retired. So, honestly, for a guy that was compared to Michael Jordan, he was not bad at all. He had a pretty long career basically uh, basically 10 to 13 decent years in the nba not bad at all so if i had to scale it on one to ten mm, a six i'll give him a six i'll give him a six so damn NBA. so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button hit subscribe I'm trying to get to 50 subs uploads so I guess that's it